Hello everybody. When I look uh, through the statistics of my Blender tutorials which I made, I realize that most people are interested in hard surface objects. So I thought I do one of those again for a change. So let me go to uh, top view then shift A and add an image, a background image. Then I have my stuff on the D drive, Blender items, references, and I want to make this antique padlock. So if I go to the image properties, I select use alpha then these funny corners or edges disappear and I can also adjust the transparency of my background to my liking. As we can see, it's not quite in the middle. So I add a plane, Shift A, Mesh Plane, to a center my background image in the middle and as you realize here you can't see the background image through the plane. That's easy to fix and I think this is the wrong setting here. Should, this should be the default, namely that the background image is in front of our geometry. So I select uh, the plane again and no, first I grab my image on X and use the two rivets here to center everything. Now I can select the plane again and delete it. Next, I add a circle with 48 edges and tap to edit mode, grab it in Y and bring it down to about here and then I scale it out to the outside of our padlock and then I select all these vertices on the right side and delete them. Now I can put the rest to where it must be. So I select this vertex here, grab put it to here, select this one, grab, select this one, grab, select this one, grab to here, then select all the rest here and delete. Now we can extrude this one, extrude, extrude, extrude around the outside of the lock, Strut doesn't have to be too precise. Extrude and one more to here. Now I tap to object mode and we can add a mirror modifier. Mirror, apply it, go back to edit mode. Then I select these two and fill. Then I select everything fill, inset, a tiny bit and inset again close to the inner plate like so. Then I can select this edge here, one, shift select this one, shift control numeric plus to here. Then P key to make this its own selection. 
go to uh, go to object mode select this new selection go back to edit mode and now we can put everything to where it belongs so grab this control Z grab this one too grab to here this one grab grab and left click grab uh, this one to here grab 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 Let's see the last one here. Grab, I don't want to bring it totally to the side to here. Now we can extrude this. Extrude, extrude to here. Okay, now to object mode again, add another mirror modifier, apply it, go back to edit mode. Let's see if this have merged. No, at center. Then we can select these two and fill. Then select everything. No, we have too many. We have too many. Uh, so let me correct this. X dissolve vertices this one dissolve should have done this before I mirrored but it's not such a deal okay now I select all and fill this and inset it a little and we have a problem down here, it seems, no, inset it again, no, okay, now I make a new collection, put the circle in here and circle one and call the circle um, block and I will put everything into this when I join objects I will all put them in the lock which means I always select the lock item last now we have one more object to do, which is the bottom one, which seems to be a cover for the keyhole, which I will not model. I just model this cover here. So go to uh, object mode, shift A, and I place a single vertex, grab it, bring it down to here then I extrude it to here extrude extrude maybe one more extrude like so then back to object mode add another mirror modifier apply it go back and 
join these in the middle and fill these two in and then I can select everything and fill it, inset a little and inset again. I think the second inset is not necessary but I do it anyway to make sure. Now you see these surfaces lay exactly on top of each other and so what I do now is I take the vertex and select select the vertex and select the circle one and control join them then I select everything grab in Z just a tiny little maybe point zero zero two and then I extrude everything in Z to maybe here okay now we need um, edges in here and here so Alt Q as I said I changed from Control R to Alt Q because it's easier to reach Alt Q and Shift Alt select these ones then Control D and extrude these two here good now I select uh, the lock and select everything extrude in Z quite a lot like so and select this bottom um, face and control plus and delete faces because you know I want to have two halves because these old locks had to be uh, riveted together and uh, they usually could be separated in the middle. We don't see it from the reference picture but I think this is the case. Anyway that's what I do. Now let's go to object mode, right click. Now I put everything together so Control J, right click and shade smooth and have a look. Not good. I need also two edges in here, so Alt Q and then Control B and Shift Bevel it to here. Okay, now let's see again. That looks better, and just to be sure, I want to see the face orientation and as usual so select some of the red then press L to select all the linked go to Alt N and flip and now it's good We don't need to see this and now I put it just on top of uh, the red axis so grab in Z just tilt this slightly above like so. Now 
because I don't know uh, I don't know if I need to do it but I apply location rotation and scale before I mirror this so at modifier mirror not over X over Z and this has worked yes looks good okay and I apply this also now on top view mm, no I think I go back to object mode shift a add a circle go back to uh, go back to edit mode scale it in maybe I go to x-ray mode scale then I can delete the bottom part here delete vertices select everything grab in y bring this to about the middle and you see it's not really uh, precise so i use it more or less for the proportions and the general shape so extrude in y again into the main body like this then I go to object mode and convert this to a curve and in the curve menu I go to geometry depth and shift click on this and make it maybe this size then scale everything so the rivets are in the middle and then I can convert it back to a mesh let's have a look select everything and shade smooth and now I can control join everything together and go back to edit mode and have a look and now we only need the rivets so I shift A at an icosphere tap to edit mode go to the side view and select all these vertices we are still in x-ray mode x delete vertices then i select all these ones extrude in z bring them down a to select everything scale in z only like so it looks a bit more like a rivet then I go to top view and uh, scale it in total to the size grab mm, it's a bit too small scale shift like so let's see from the side it's way too low grab in Z up to about here top view again shift D put this on here shift D put this one here side view grab in Z to about here then top view again and go to um, object mode add another mirror modifier 
and apply it then back to edit mode and I select this one shift D bring it to here shift D again along the Y down to here and let's have a look here I select these right click shade smooth and our lock is finished. Now we can select the rivets or and then the lock and control J and now we have one single object. I didn't put the, the rivets on the bottom because we don't see it. Now I add a, a plane. So shift A, plane, and my cat is hungry again. Just a moment, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. My cat is happily eating and putting on her winter. Uh, weight <laughs> and I have added a plane I scale it up by a factor of 22 that's and left click then grab it in Z and bring it down to where it would be if we would have the rivets also on the bottom now I select this object here and show you another very very nice and useful add-on it is delivered automatically with a blender 2.8 it's called uh, add-ons map i think no let me check Hit, yes, edit, preferences, kit, and you see it is an asset library kit, which in fact is something you have to pay for five dollars a month if you want to also use the models and uh, the brushes, but if you only want to use um, the materials most of them if not all are free so let's select the we have 75 metal materials it is automatically downloaded and i think once you have downloaded one it will be kept on your system so i take this steel dark clean and I have still selected my plane for whatever reason so I'm very sorry but I seem to have a problem with something. Uh, Blender kit is uh, hanging and displays it searching. So I loaded my previous version of this uh, ancient padlock and this one is uh, <clears throat> is textured and I made a concrete texture on the on the plane and this is the finalized product and I will render it with a 66% and the cycles engine with 512 samples and hit F12 and here we go
and this is the final product. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, take care and see you some other time. If you have questions, please put them in the comments. Bye bye for now.